It's an eagerly awaited positive sign. On Tuesday, the Union for BC Dock Workers will recommend its members accept a proposed deal after federal mediation. It's been a turbulent week with picket lines going up and down after a 13-day work stoppage caused a massive backup of containers. Goods have begun to move, but slowly. We've got about four or five containers in. Typically, we would have about 20 containers in at any given time of imported product. The supply chain has clearly been stalled. Distributors had nothing coming in. Manufacturers had nothing going out. If the port's not operating, we run out of space to store our product, and that means that we have to stop producing. It's estimated recovery will take six to eight weeks. Industry says the dispute has significantly damaged small businesses across the country and Canada's international reputation as a reputable trading partner. Vancouver's Board of Trade estimates nearly $10 billion worth of goods were delayed. Canada's Labour Minister Seamus O'Regan was quick with a social media response. Thank you to the caucus for sending the terms of settlement to a membership vote. 7,400 port workers are expected to vote on the proposed agreement late next week. They're very engaged. Um, and I think they stand behind their leaders, so I, th I think it, I expect it to pass. The BC Maritime Employers Association ratified the deal last week. Issues at the centre of the dispute have been wages and port automation. We want to see a resolution uh, because at the end of the day, it's not just Vancouver's port, it's Canada's port. And there's so much economic activity that goes through there. Uh, and every, any, every minute it's uh, not operational uh, really hurts the entire country. It's been a high stakes labour dispute that could be now one step closer to an end. Bell Peary, CBC News, Vancouver.